Welcome back to another Worldwide Steel Buildings training video. In this session, we will cover the installation of cord braces when your building requires a double purlin or girt. The Worldwide Steel Buildings Web Truss Framing System requires cord braces to brace the inside flange of your columns and roof trusses. The locations required will be shown as dashed lines on your W drawings. Your columns and roof trusses will have small tabs welded onto the inside flange at each core brace location, as shown here. The quantity and length of your core braces will be identified on the Building Shipment Summary page of your shipment list, and the installation hardware will be identified on the Truss Hardware list. For the attachment of the cord brace to the column or roof truss, you will use a bolt and nut. For the attachment of the cord brace to you will use a tech screw. When installing a cord brace at a double purlin or girt, you must locate your angle clips, LC4A, as identified on standard detail DS42. Ensure your columns are straight, and your roof trusses are vertical and plumb before installing your cord braces. First, attach the cord brace to the truss using a bolt and nut and finger tighten. Next, attach the angled clip to the other end of your cord brace using a nut and bolt, as demonstrated here. Bend the cord brace to a 45 degree angle from the truss to where the angle clip rests on the flanges of your double purlin or girt. Once in place, attach using two tech screws. Be sure to tighten all bolts before proceeding to the next cord brace. Continue installing your cord braces until all braces required are in place. Thanks for choosing Worldwide Steel Buildings. Got questions? Give us a call at 1-800-825-0316 or visit our website at worldwidesteelbuildings.com.